Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Broad Lane Leisure in Warwickshire who've kindly allowed us to come and film a review around special editions, also known as dealer specials. Today's vlog will centre around this. It's the Coachman Arcadia Extra Platinum Edition, their special edition caravan, based on the Coachman Arcadia. So in this vlog, I'm going to be answering three questions, and those are, what is a special edition caravan? What extras are we going to get on a special edition caravan? And why should we buy a special edition caravan? As I say, we're going to be using the Arcadia Extra Platinum Edition, from Broad Lane to answer these questions and have a closer look at this specific special edition. It's worth mentioning that this special edition is available in eight different models and layouts and that includes three models in an eight foot wide version of the Arcadia XL, so something you might be particularly interested in. So question number one, what is a special edition? Well, a special edition is where a dealership like Broad Lane take a caravan like the Coachman Arcadia and they add a number of accessories and equipment that would normally be options. They put it on there and they sell it at a price well below the cost that those options would actually cost you, the caravan buyer, if you were to fit them to a standard Arcadia. In terms of this caravan, the option costs of all these would be £2,150, so you're going to be making a considerable saving. So that's what a special edition is. So what are we going to get extra on the Arcadia Extra Platinum? Well, we'll go through those now. So first of all, here is the caravan itself. It's on the Alco chassis. The first thing we're going to get extra that's not option an option is the Alco ATC trailer control, and that is an anti-snaking device. It's electronic and it'll kick in if the caravan detects that there is a problem. On this Arcadia Extra, we're also going to get the Alco automatic adjustment, and that's an enhanced braking system. So that is a really good option to have fitted here on this caravan in terms of safety. Now, if we head up onto the roof, on the Arcadia Extra Platinum, we're going to get a 100 watt solar panel. And that is absolutely fantastic for if you have an alarm fitted to your caravan. So while your caravan's in storage or it's parked up on the driveway, we're not going to be draining our leisure battery because that 100 watt solar panel is going to top up your battery. It's also fantastic if you enjoy going off grid or you want to stop on a site where you don't want to be dependent on electric hookup. And again, that solar panel is going to replenish your leisure battery so you can stay off electric for much longer on those family holidays. What we'll do now is going to head off down the near side and take a close look at what we're getting here. So here on the near side, the first thing we're going to notice are the decals, the exterior graphics. These are a black and green colour, different to the standard Coachman Arcadia, and these are a lovely enhancement. And then we have the Platinum Edition, so people know this is a special edition. What we're also going to find on this near side is down below, we've got steadies these are heavy duty steadies they're also known as big feet so if you hear people saying big feet that's what it means it's heavy duty steadies so we've got four all around the caravan and they're good for when you're on ground that might be soft or uneven it's going to give you that extra stability and that's additional to a standard arcadia now what we are going to get which we're going to get on an arcadia as well is the whale external gas point. Now this is brilliant. I honestly wouldn't buy a caravan without an external gas point because we do so much outdoor cooking. So that is fantastic if you've got a Kadak or a gas barbecue. You're also going to find a whale 230 volt three pin socket. So you can plug things in outside. So if you've got an awning or if you like to sit out, you can use this for maybe watching television, charging up e-bikes, or it might be that you have an electric cooking device, something like that. So it's always nice to see that. And then we do have a locker here. And again, that is a standard on an Arcadia anyway. But then what we're also going to get additionally on this Platinum Edition, as I come back here, now on the alloy wheel, first of all, 
If the worst happens and you have a puncture, what you are going to get is an Alco jack, and that does not come as standard with many caravans. So it's great to see that. So if the worst happens, you will be able to jack up the caravan. It's also nice to see that on this, what you're going to be supplied with is an Alco wheel lock or a chassis lock. And that Alco lock is one of the only devices in the industry that's actually diamond level. So that's about the highest level of security you're going to get on a wheel lock. There's a yellow tab within this wheel. That's where that Alco wheel lock is going to affix and give you great security on this caravan. And if you're buying a twin axle version of the Arcadia Extra Platinum, you will get two. So that is fantastic for security and it's also going to assist in reducing your insurance premium. Now another feature I want us to look at is over on the off side. So what we'll do is we'll trot around there and have a look at that next. So what we're going to find is on this off side, we've got a service light which is up here and those are LED lights. Now you may be wondering why do you need a light on the off side of the caravan? And there's two reasons. One is on an evening, it will assist illuminating your way back to the caravan so you can find it. But two, if you've ever run out of water in the middle of the night or you've been having a shower and had to dash out in the night, you'll know why that light would be really important. Because down here we're going to find the whale pump and this is where you're going to put your aqua roll you're going to attach your your water pump and that's going to feed water into the caravan and if that runs out in the night believe me you'll be really pleased that you've got a light so you can see what you're doing especially on some sites that aren't well illuminated so that's one of the extras that we're going to get on this arcadia extra other than that we're going to find standard features that we're going to get on the arcadia which includes the alder wet central heating and we're going to find various storage lockers and access into the caravan so those are those great external features i'm hopefully we've covered all those so what we'll do next is we'll venture inside and i'm going to show you the additional options that we're going to get in there as part of the standard equipment on this special edition. So come on, let's head inside. So we've come inside the Arcadia Extra Platinum Edition. I mentioned outside about the different models that were available. So if you are considering this special edition, as I say, it's available across eight different models. The model we're in right now is the 520, which is actually a three berth caravan. We will have a look around it in a minute once I've shown some of these extra features that this has. The standard width of this Arcadia is seven feet and five inches. And as I mentioned before, there are three eight foot wide models available as well. Two of those are available as five berth caravans on a family layout. So if you're a family looking for a five berth, they could be absolutely perfect. The other eight foot model is a four berth caravan with a fixed island bed. So let's get back to what we're getting extra within this caravan. So we're getting exclusive fabrics on this special edition. We get four scatter cushions and they're in two different styles. We've got one in this green and then one with the knife, nice leaf pattern. And this is different to a standard Arcadia. So in the Arcadia Extra, you're going to get that. We're also going to find a really nice colour scheme on these curtains. And these are a silver with a sparkle in as well. I quite like the sparkle. And then we get some piping here, which is going to complement the cushions. So this is the exclusive furnishings that we're going to get as part of the extra special edition. The other things we're going to get, now if you like charging up your gadgets, we're going to find a wireless mobile phone charger. And that's situated just over here at the front of the caravan. We're also going to get, just up in the corner, a Pioneer DAB radio with Bluetooth. So that's ideal if you like to listen to music while you're away caravanning. It's also worth mentioning that another feature we're going to get, but it's not in the 520, it is in models with a fixed bed, and that is the LED lights that are going to have a USB charger in them. So that's another feature. So this is the front end of the Arcadia Extra and I do feel that this is a, it's a really nice feeling caravan is the Coachman Arcadia just generally. The furnishings are very nice. These are really well bolstered seats as well. And at the front of the caravan there's always a nice amount of space 
and these windows do let in plenty of light. Appreciate the blinds are down right now, but normally this is letting in plenty of light. And you get the huge coachman sunroof, which is great in that one piece. And then there's a separate sunroof above as well. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get up and show you a couple of features within this 520, many of which are standard across the whole range of eight. So let's have a look around. So first of all, we're going to get some storage as we'd expect. The coachman has a small little compartment hidden up here, which could be good for keys or something like that. And that's complemented on the same side as well. And that's above that DAB radio that I mentioned, that being the Pioneer. Then we come down to our cupboard storage. And again, it's reflected on both sides. So we're going to get a nice amount of storage and we're going to find in this one as well, our television aerial. And this is where the aerial is going to feed in for when you're wanting to watch television on a morning or evening time. We'll come down further and we're going to then make our way into the coachman kitchen. Now, one thing I do like about the coachman kitchens is they always give you really good worktop space. And you can see here, there's an absolutely massive amount of space. There's also, if I just move this bolster cushion, an additional flap as well. So you'll notice with the plug socket here, it may well be that you can put a coffee machine or a toaster or a kettle or something like that here on this flap. As we go further into the kitchen, and kitchens are important, I think, when you're away in the caravan, even if you're not particularly into cooking indoors, it's always good to have plenty of space to store things. And these cupboards are absolutely fantastic. You've got a massive height to them for boxes of cereal and what have you. And here we've got the rack for our plates and mugs or glasses and, and what have you there. So really good on that space, even in a, a three berth caravan like this 520. Now, as we come along, we get the good size sink which has the cover as well. So that keeps everything nice and tidy. And we have a lovely tap, the, Coach the Coachman Arcadia Extra tap, absolutely lovely. It's a good solid tap and it obviously swivels round. Underneath, we have a, a nice feature under the worktop and that's this pull out uh, drawer, which I would use obviously for cutlery and putting utensils and what have you there. So they haven't wasted that space under the worktop. And then under there, we're going to find our Dometic fridge and freezer. So it's a good size Dometic fridge and freezer. We've got the freezer compartment above. We've got some salad trays as well in the bottom. And then we've got the shelving in the door. So that's more than ample for a couple of days or for a week if you're away as a couple. As we come along, we're going to get a little bit more extra storage under this sink some cupboard space, and then we get the Thetford gas oven and grill. And on top we find the hob. Now on the hob, it's always good to see that we get the electric plate because if you're on electric hookup, it might be that you don't want to use your gas so you can use your electric plate. And then we do get the three gas burners if you like to cook on gas. And that's ideal if you are on a site without electric hookup, so you can use your gas for that. Above that, we're going to find the Russell Hobbs microwave. And these are fairly good size 800 watt microwaves and that's going to come as standard. Now on this special edition, one of the extra features that you're going to get within that uh, package of equipment is this Omnivent which is above me here. And that's obviously ideal for when you're cooking, turn it on. You can either use it to suck air out of the caravan for when you're cooking or if it is a hot day, you can use it to draw air in. It's going to aid with circulation around the caravan on those hot days because let's be fair, it can get very warm. So that is part of the extras on the Arcadia Extra Platinum. What I'll do is I'll just move across now. Now, as I say, this is the 523 berth. So out of all the eight layouts, they're all going to be very different. And you can find the details of all of those in the brochure, the electronic brochure, which will be in the description below. But this is the one that's got the side dinette and this converts into a single bed. I do like this feature, even if you're just a couple and you're thinking about a two berth caravan on the, the 470, it might be that the 520 is, is a consideration. Yes, it's a little bit longer, but you're going to get this fantastic little dinette, which is great 
of sitting and having breakfast in an evening meal before going into the lounge area to have that quiet time on a night time. So this is lovely. What I'll do now is we'll just go back and have a little look in the bathroom because one thing that I notice from having looked at a lot of caravans is one thing that coachmen really deliver on are the bathrooms, whether it be a rear washroom or a mid, mid washroom, they always have excellent size shower cubicles and great size washrooms and this is no different. So let's go back and take a look in here. As we go into the bathroom on the 520, we see we have a heated towel rail and that's part of the Alder Wet Central heating. There's also a frosted window for privacy and a Thetford swivel toilet. In the centre of the washroom we're going to find a cabinet with the fruit bowl style sink and lovely tap and a good sized mirror. To the side of the shower there's a cupboard where we'll find the table for use in the lounge and then the shower cubicle itself is a very good size with a single pane to the door. This is not frosted glass so just be mindful of that for privacy. We've got a shelf for our shower gels or shampoos and a deep shower tray with a single plug. All of the Coachman Arcadia Extra Platinum Editions are going to come with Alder Wet Central Heating and you're going to find the control panel for that above the door as you come in. And that's going to be next to the Coachman control panel which is going to show you your leisure battery levels, it's going to operate your water pump and the lights and the power to the caravan. If you haven't had Alder Wet Central Heating before, it's absolutely fantastic. It's just like the hot water system at home. You will find within the caravan an Alder tank and that fluid will pump around and create a great amount of heat within the caravan. And it does work on both electric and gas. As you come in the door, that, this is also where you're going to find another one of these extras that the Arcadia Extra provides you with, and that is the personalised doormat. It says Arcadia Extra Platinum Edition. So when people come into your caravan, they can see some, that you've got something a little bit different. So there we go. That is the Arcadia Extra Platinum Edition from Broad Lane, a dealer special. I've answered the question of what a special edition is, what equipment you're going to get, and last but not least, the question is, why should you buy a special edition? Well, for me, I do think if you're considering buying a Coachman Arcadia, you really should consider a special edition because you're going to get all the different items of equipment that I've mentioned in this vlog, but uh, a greatly reduced price to what would be if you were to add those options to a standard Arcadia. And at the end of the day, we all want value for money. A caravan purchase is a huge outlay. So I think if you can just spend a little bit more to get all these optional extras, but at a much better price, it is a winner. It's also worth thinking about residual values because in the future, if you're, you come to sell your caravan, particularly if you're thinking of selling it privately, then these optional extras are going to be a great selling point for another potential buyer because they're going to want all these things as well. So that's another thing. It's the future value of your caravan. It's also the case that when you rock up on site and obviously you've got a special edition and it's got these different exterior graphics and the name badge, people are going to know you've got a special edition. They stand out, they do look a bit different. And I must say, I'm always one that does like to have a bit of a, a look at other people's outfits. So I certainly notice things like that. And other people might then want to ask you about your special edition and why you've chosen it. So yeah, those are just some of the reasons why. What I always say though is it's really important that you buy the right caravan for you and take your time to have a look, go through the models and the layouts because we were lucky when we bought our first caravan, we really did nail it first time. Um, and I wouldn't say that was just luck, I did spend a lot of time researching caravans. So the same for you, please spend some time, have a look at these special editions, have a look at other special editions as well that are available at Broadlane. On the Swifts, it might be that you prefer one of those. So that is the answer to those three questions that we started out with. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a look around today. I know I've enjoyed seeing something a bit different. So it just leaves me to say thank you to Broadlane Leisure for letting us come and film. We have filmed in line with COVID guidelines current at this time. I'd just like to say to you, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.